Okay, now that we've uh, talked to the consumer and we've educated them, we're going to get down and we're going to get dirty. We're going to put on our knee pads and we're going to start doing an inspection to identify what pests we have here to, to uh, in this environment. We put our belt on, which has some of our tools in it. Uh, we'll get ready to go and uh, put on our gloves so we don't get all nasified. Sometimes you, you touch things you don't really want to touch with your bare hands. Then we check in the cabinets. We're looking for uh, insect parts or frass. We check to see uh, it, where they might be living. They could be in a microwave. They like uh, cockroaches particularly like uh, to be in electronic equipment. We look behind it because a lot of people don't move things to see what's behind. And there we found a piece of equipment that was behind that microwave. We're looking in uh, this environment to see what else is available for the cockroaches to survive with. Uh, we don't see too much in this toaster oven, which is unusual. Usually that's where you find a lot of crumbs. Uh, we also look for all the equipment that's attached to the walls to see if the cockroaches are living up underneath it. A mirror is a great tool to use in these commercial environments because you can get up underneath things and see uh, cracks and crevices a lot better with a mirror and a flashlight. We also want to take out the switch plates to see if there's any populations in the walls uh, where the outlets are. Uh, this is a, a common place where cockroaches like to live and breed. This particular one was clean. We didn't see any frass or any evidence that cockroaches had been living in this particular wall void. So we'll put this back together and then we'll move on down to the bottom part of the cabinets. <clears throat> you can see uh, I'm using my mirror again here to look up underneath the front edge of the cabinet doors because this is one of those places that a lot of guys don't look. They they look to the back because it's easy to see. Uh, they look and into the bottom because they can see easily there. But uh, up underneath that splashboard is very difficult to see. Another thing you need to make sure you do when you're looking for po populations is that you move things in the drawers and in the cabinets to see what's there. Uh, open all the drawers and all the cabinets to determine if there's a pocket somewhere that you don't want to miss. Uh, then uh, you can see why I use my knee pads because you're on your knees a lot when you're doing these commercial accounts. Once again, this is just showing the front edge of those cabinets where most guys miss, but that's where cockroaches love to live is right up against that because most of the guys that make applications in these make them to the back of the cabinet.